this country and there's a huge potential for cricket here. So tell us more about cricket. Well, I, I think we, we should start by putting it in the right context that um, cricket is, though it's a sport, like any other sport, it's also an industry or a business. And uh, cricket though started in Indonesia as a hobby, people who loved the game started playing it and uh, then those who loved the game started wanting to develop it and then wanted to teach cricket to the Indonesians. Uh, has now progressed into a kind of a sustainable model where we are poised for some very fast growth and uh, the, the thinking that has kept us going is that we should treat cricket like it's an industry and therefore it's a business and therefore it's a source of livelihood for all the people who are involved in cricket. So if you use that kind of a paradigm of thinking then the game takes a different shape altogether. Yeah, look at the uh, Indian Premier League. Absolutely. So we are, uh, like how you mentioned just now that uh, Indonesia being the fourth largest country in the world, what is its implication for cricket? Actually it's big because uh, what a lot of people don't understand is cricket is not just about the game being played by those who love cricket. Mm -hmm. That's only a small group of people who play cricket. The bigger number of people are those who are behind the scenes, who are not on TV or they are not actually on the ground, but they are the ones who make manufacture all the equipment. They're the ones who run all the grounds, they're the ones who run all the tournaments. There are people who watch the game. There are television sponsors, there are all kinds of uh, product sponsors. So the stakeholders of a game like cricket is very much a large numbers game. And right. so Indonesia being the fourth largest country, it's very automatically suitable kind of a game for mass audience and mass uh, uh, following by the people. So though the game might attract a certain number of players, behind the scenes, the entire country can get involved. Right. And having 220 million people in this country gives cricket that kind of a future potential, which is not there today, yeah. but we are on the way to go in that direction. A very business-like um, perspective on cricket. I never really thought about it that way. How did you get involved? Is there a, were, are you a cricket player? Well, okay, yes. Uh, I'm a cricket player. I'm also an entrepreneur. So I've run a few businesses and uh, uh, I was lucky to be introduced into cricket by those who love cricket. So many of these people attracted me to be involved in the administration side. And this started a long time back. I used to be the former president of the Jakarta Cricket Association for three years. And then I moved to Cricket Indonesia where I was the chairman of Cricket Indonesia for a year and a half period. And uh, uh, we did some initiatives both in JCI as well as Cricket Indonesia which were using a combination of entrepreneurship models and business models right. into sport development. So you are so looking at cricket from the top? We are looking at it from the top and we are looking around it yeah. rather than from within it by being a player because uh, being a player helps, it gives you the passion right. but uh, it doesn't give you the sense of how one can develop this Grow into the scalable, sport. Yeah. to be a scalable uh, sport. Correct. Uh, Prakash is also part of your committee, sure. the advisory committee on the Cricket Indonesia team. Mm. And so, what is Cricket Indonesia? I believe it's a part of a larger body or it's the bigger body which handles yeah, this Cricket model. Indonesia is the national body for cricket, uh, for development of cricket in Indonesia. We are part of the International Cricket Council. We are uh, what we call as the, we, we are not the full members but we are the affiliate members. Right. We are in the third category, that is the full members associate members and we are the affiliate members. So we are all, we are all among the small countries who are starting Developing to develop cricket, cricket. recently. Yeah. Uh, cricket Indonesia, the main objective is to develop cricket among the Indonesians and we have been successful in uh, uh, developing cricket in quite a few parts of Indonesia. First is uh, Bali which has got a head start because of the uh, presence of a lot of Australians there yeah. and uh, of course uh, Jakarta and uh, surrounding areas of Jakarta like Bogor, Karawang, these are the stronghold of uh, uh, the cricket at the moment but our ambition is to grow this through uh, the remaining parts of this country also and I think uh, we have a program, we have a program which is going to start in the next couple of days in fact. Now that's going to be, uh, that's aimed at uh, introducing cricket into 16 new provinces. All over Indonesia. All over Indonesia. How uh, many children do you think would be touched by cricket uh, what is your projection uh, at the moment there are close to around 8,000 to 10,000 kids who have been uh, playing cricket regularly in Bali wow, uh, Jakarta that's a big number. that is a number that, that's that's one of the it needs to be bigger but it's a good number to start with yeah mm. 
and uh, with this new program we are aiming at 20,000 kids playing cricket in new areas so that's going to be a figure of around almost 30,000 kids by the end of uh, July next year actually just to add a little bit on what Prakash said uh, 8,000, 20,000 what do these numbers look like when you compare it to the total population let's say 220 million or you compare it to how many kids who actually play soccer right and the soccer phenomenon here is similar to the Indian experience where of people play cricket. on the street yes mm. now how can you get kids in Indonesia to play on the street there is only one solution you must provide them bats and equipment to play with so the biggest challenge here is if a kid learns to play cricket in his school can he go home and teach it to his friends in his neighborhood today he cannot mm. because he only gets the bats in the schools and he has to return it when he comes back so are, uh, are you also yes. developing so the so equipment manufacturing? Yes. yes, we have in fact pioneered the first Indonesian bats being made in this country for, for play for kids basically. So you play with a tennis ball rather than a cricket ball. Right. And these bats are being made right now and uh, we have one so manufacturer and we hope to get this across to maybe about uh, four or five manufacturers during the year. We want every kid who joins this program to buy a bat and then go home and get 10 kids in his neighborhood to play. So this 20,000 can actually become 100,000 kids in a year or two yes, by providing enough absolutely. equipment. Absolutely. In fact, it can mm. grow many fold. And that's the that. approach we are trying to take. We are trying to take this approach of being practical about how can we get more kids to play it because they love the game. And so we are trying to find solutions to all the problems there are in how to grow the game. Yes, this is indeed fascinating. Never thought of cricket in that manner. And I need to know more. Yes. Stay with us viewers. We'll be right back with you after this.